right, everyone. That was a great Araya America Spec 50 class. Now we're on to the big boys here. We got the F1 class showing up. We got some of the other regulars over here hanging out. We got Greg Fiore, we got Mendez hanging out with us. Awesome, awesome gig here. Who's going to take this one? It's been the Alex Moorhead show all day long in this class. David Hughes has got something to think about here. And you, there's so many great riders in this field. You got Savatore, you got Dane. Dane White right there, really, really showing that he really wants this as well. All the top three right here all hang out together. They know each other and they trust each other. But when it comes to race time, anything's possible. So we want to see some bar banging, boys. So we get the rest of the grid all gridded up here. We got Super Lex starting on the third row, it looks like. Mike Savatori, Dane White. We're about to throw the green here in just a little bit. Give us a few more seconds here. Bikes are hot. They are ready to go. Who's it going to be? It's going to be a great F1 final here. As the green flag drops, and it looks like Moorhead got the pole shot. Moorhead leads him into turn one. Nice. Everybody nice and clean through turn one. David Hughes on the power. David Hughes is doing a great nope, job right enough, there. Not enough, though. Not enough. Nope. Moorhead is still in the lead. Moorhead has really been showing that this F1 race is going to be his today. In his heats, he was awesome. Everything was good. David Hughes still there in the second spot. Dane White right there in the third spot. And, and is that Salvatore. Mike Salvatore? Salvatore fourth. Salvatore started on the second row and has made himself up to fourth. So great job by the veteran, Mike Salvatore. As it is still. Oh, we got somebody down. Oh, Somebody's somebody is down right there in the mix right there. It looks, looks like, like they're Eric Powers. Eric, Eric Powers down right there. Oh, that's such a shame. He was having a great day so Man, far. His bike was running well all day, and that's it. On the main event, it goes down. Alex Moorhead take, uh, basically leaving off, taking over where he left off in the heat races right there. He has already opened up about a five-bike length lead as Alex Moorhead right here on the gas coming past us with about a four-bike length lead. David Hughes leading Dane White as Salvatore loses the spot as he goes to fifth. George Zotakis is still trying to catch up from that bad start. He's about ninth place right now, trying to recover. Yeah, that's not that's not usual for him. No, George Zotakis has been having a really struggling day here in the F1 class. Um, really showed his stuff in the super in the stock 100, which we'll see a little later today. But wow, this race is getting there. And you know who removes struggling out of their dictionary? Moorhead. Yes, Moorhead has really just put a stamp on this class saying, boys, if you want to catch me, I'm here. I am here. Come and get me. <laughs> so Moorhead leads it with second place. Wow, they are all close together here. Yeah, that 90 hairpin is they, a tight turn. David Hugh is in second place, and David has really been one of the spectators, one of really the spectator guys of the class here. You know, he has really come on strong in the last heat race for sure. Yeah, he... He decided that Grom that he's on used to be 187 cc's and Jeez. he would race it in super mini. He got, him, got himself a new engine and now he's racing with the other Grom guys. He's like, I'm here, man. Let's do it. Dane White is in the third place spot as he's holding his own right there. Super Lex is coming in there to make the inside pass. No, it won't be strong enough to make the inside pass. But it is still all Alex Moorhead all his way right now. David Hugh and Dane White need to work together to clean the least try to close that gap up if they want Alex Moorhead and they want that first place spot. Yeah, and Alex like, Moorhead is putting a stamp on the F40 now. It looks like Christian Williams managed to make his way around Salvatore too. And Salvatore is trying to get that position back. He needs them. He needs those points to be able to keep the lead in F1. Yep, and Salvatore is running in the top five, but it's not going to be enough to keep that points lead, as you said. He will need to battle with it, but this is going to be the Alex Moorhead show today. No one's stopping Moorhead. No, this is not going to. It's not going to. Moorhead is just them. putting a hurting on these boys right now, and he knows he's got a competitive bike. He knows he's got these guys covered, and they're going to have to respond. David Hugh and Dane are going to have to respond because Moorhead's going to be. Who's going to be buying the beer at the end of the day? Oh, this is bragging rights. <laughs> this, this is all bragging rights. This is right bragging here. rights right here. These boys hang out with each other and. You know Moorhead's going to be going in there saying, look, I took the victory. I really want this victory today. Such a strong, strong event right here for this F1 race. Very compact all day with Moorhead really just showing the charge. But David Hugh and Dane White are really not, they're not giving up on Moorhead, but Moorhead just seems to have that extra yeah. going into the back section of the racetrack. And you guys will see Mr. Christian Gates coming his way through the checkered line now. And you must be thinking, man, you know what? He's he's way back there. And 
a lot of us don't know the struggle he's got he's gone through just to get here i mean he's got two kids racing in the spec 50 yep. spec 110 he's out here having a blast smile from ear to ear and his only goal is not to get lapped exactly that's, that's his goal and that's the name of the game here and malik's moorhead really just pulls the pin some more with about a nine bike league lead over david hugh Dane White still holding on to the third position, but he is wanting some of David, for sure. I don't, I don't see four and five catching up to that group. Nope, Savatori will, Savatori will be in trouble right here as he might lose the points lead after this weekend's event. Yeah, right now he's sitting in fifth position, and, you know, that's about a 15-point gap from, from first point, so that's a lot of points to give up in one race. Yep, but hopefully if he can just stay consistent, hold on to that fifth spot, we'll see what he can do. But it seems like the Honda Grubs are having it all their way in the top three here. The Mo tracks are looking good, though. Yeah, unfortunately, George did have that mishap at the takeoff, but he's he's making his way through the track. Yep, as you said, George Latakis right there still trying to make up the gap here. Will it be enough? We don't know, but he is still just charging through the field. But this is the Alex Moorhead show, as Halfway we discussed. Through. Halfway through already, uh, going on the lap six right there. We have Alex Moorhead. Leading the field here, David Hugh and, and Dane, Dane White has nothing to say about it. No, Dane's got to figure something out with David because they're consistent right now. They might be running identical laps. And you can just tell that the extra speed by, yep, but right there is going by David White. Super Lex right there in the middle of the pack showing her stuff, getting some more testing. George Zeltakis running there in the rear as well. But it is all Moorhead. Moorhead is just really putting on a show. Very exciting to watch. Moorhead's been around for quite a while. Has really been putting in the laps. I really think that this race is going to be his to lose.